Hello, welcome to my new channel, Mia and a D. I am Mia and I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I will be teaching you, showing you, and motivating you on just how easy it is to start investing in real estate, especially here in Detroit. So you'll be following me along as I reach compliance and completion through what we call the Detroit Land Bank process. Uh, this will consist of my vlogs, my TikToks. Um, I might throw in some uh, daily activities in there as well. And hopefully we'll also get some testimonies from other Detroit Land Bank property owners like myself. Um, so if you are here, um, then you probably have already thought about um, investing in Detroit or maybe just um, real estate in general. Uh, what got me into this journey is probably like everyone else. You know, you want to make generational wealth, uh, passive income, recession proof income. Uh, you don't want to be a part of the rat race anymore, the regular nine to five. Um, and that's a great idea, especially now. Um, and now is the time to start. Um, but why choose Detroit? So if you have not heard already, Detroit has one of the most easiest um, uh, markets to you know get start, started with um, because our Detroit land bank auctions start as little as $1,000. Now, that does not mean you will always purchase it at that price because if bidding is high, um, it may get up to $30,000. Um, and then also, um, I just want to say you can apply this information to other cities. Um, because every city, most likely, especially if it's in an urban area, um, has um, auction process. I know Baltimore, um, I've heard, is um, auctioning their homes for like one dollar. Um, but I don't know too much information, of course, about other cities. Um, I'm just here to uh, speak about Detroit. But I mean, you can take the information and apply it as you can. Um, but like I said, if you're here um, to invest and, and collect, um, that is great. That is great. But I will say, um, you know, if you are out of state or you are, um, you know, from outside of Detroit, you know, the suburbs or however, you know, I would I would encourage you to be a part of the Detroit culture. And when I say Detroit culture, I just mean more so, um, you know, being shopping at their small businesses, um, maybe being a part of some type of community um, events. Um, you know, different little things, you know, we have a great downtown, but downtown isn't everything, you know, we want to kind of bring attention to uh, the neighborhoods and business and, and things like that. Um, so just try to be a part of the culture. Um, like I said, we've always been known for Motown. Um, you know, we won a few championships with the Pistons. You know, we just made it to the Super Bowl uh, with the NFL, with the Lions. So, you know, we we have a good culture and we have great people and a lot of diversity in Detroit. Um, but yeah, coming to Detroit um, just because it's cheap, you know, is not always the best thing to do. You know, you don't want to just invest because it's cheap because cheap isn't always easy. Or I'm sorry, not easy, but not always good. Um, but I will tell you that the reason why you want to invest in Detroit is because of the return on your investment. And the reason you're able to have a return on your investment is because others are investing in Detroit as we speak. The city itself and outside companies are investing in Detroit. Detroit beautifications have been on a rise the last few years. And I even find myself at all um, with such improvements in my own neighborhood uh, compared to when I first moved in. Um, so we have like new shopping plazas. Um, we have this thing called Motor City Match where the city pretty much gives money out to start small businesses and they will find a location. They will give them business models and things like that. So we have great, great things set up in Detroit. We have great things um, in Detroit. So you can find a lot of different things. Anything you're looking for, you can find in Detroit. Um, and then we also have new transportation service created um, and so much more. So if you're thinking about moving to Michigan in general, it has always been known as a great um, place to raise a family. And if you come here, you'll be contributing to uh, rebuilding a great city. Um, but of course, these amenities aren't what really brings you in. I know you want to make some money. So with the average house starting at $1,000, you know, let's say you pay $3,500 for it, you can estimate maybe... 35,000 to 60,000 um, worth of renovations. And then you now have a 75,000 to $120,000 property. Um, so that's amazing. And it's not too many places that you could go and have that kind of, um, you know, profit on, you know, 
Um, yes, these homes are, I wouldn't say beyond repair because we want to be repairing it, um, but they are definitely in, in, in down situations. You know, some of them need roofs, some of them need their basement to be um, leveled again, like the, the, the walls are caving in from water damage. Some has extreme mold, some has just burnt down halfway. So, you know, it definitely depends on what house you get. Um, I, like I said, I recently bought a house and you are going to follow me along with my journey. Um, so you'll be able to see like what type of condition my home was in. Um, and I definitely feel like I got lucky because like I said, I've been on the lookout for a home and a lot of these homes are just in terrible conditions, but it's still worth it. A thousand dollars for it's still a home. It might be not the best shape of home, but a thousand dollars is, is still good. So, you know, um, yeah. And also with these Detroit Land Bank homes, um, they give you usually six months to complete these homes. So they usually give you a checklist. Of course, it's up to you on how far you want to go into uh, renovations to reach compliance. Um, of course, if you're looking to rent it out, you want it to look the best. If you're just trying to get, you know, uh, the land bank off your back, then you may just do these certain, you know, uh, minuscule things to reach compliance so the home could be in your name. Um, but they usually give you six months. They give you six months and we're talking about homes that need tremendous work. So if you're out of town, you would probably have to hire a project manager or be here uh, for extended time to make sure, you know, things are, are moving quickly. Um, but, you know, I know they do give extensions and they may give you extension based on how your home is. Um, they may give you extension up to like a year and a half, about 18 months. So. Um, you know, it just depends, but just keep that in mind. Um, you have to submit information by a certain time. You know, they want you to have the water cut on by a certain time. They want you to have an inspection by a certain time, things like that. Um, so it's definitely something you don't want to come in and not be compliant because you will um, miss out on at least your deposit. And I'm not for sure if you miss out on the whole amount that you purchased the property for. Um, Cause like I said, you might purchase it for 3,500, but you will usually make a thousand dollar deposit uh, right up front. And after you won, that thousand dollar will be deducted. And then at closing, you will um, pay like the 2,500 plus closing costs. Okay. Um, and then you have other um, fees such as an inspection fee, but we will be going over these things in more details and further videos. Like I said, we're going to be having a lot of vlogs. So not every video I'm going to be talking. I'm more of like a doer. I'm not really a talker. So like you'll probably just see me fixing up my house, you know. Um, but definitely um, follow me, comment, like, things like that. Uh, this video is just an introduction just to say hi to everyone. If you're new, everyone's new because the channel is new. Um, but just to welcome you and just to kind of know uh, what this uh, channel will be about. And let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, uh, follow me on TikTok. And yes, we're going to have fun. It's 2024. It's time to have generational wealth. You cannot depend on the nine to five. You cannot depend on the government. You cannot depend on anybody. You better have something going. OK, so. You know, I want you guys to come to Detroit and invest and help our community as well as help yourself. And yes, so thank you for tuning in, uh, me and the D, and see you soon. I don't have a schedule of when I will be posting, um, but I'm not good with editing and also filming. I don't know if it's the millennial in me, but like I don't go around like with a, a camera up, you know, to me. But you know, I will try to post like a, once a week at least. So. Please follow, please follow, please follow, because this this is exciting for me. Um, like I said, I haven't did any big investments. This is my first investment. So I would love for you guys to learn with me as I'm learning um, and just kind of, you know, be able to jump in yourself and do what I'm doing. So have a good night, you guys. Follow me.